Hi guys and welcome to my video. Today we will be going through the accounting basics, principles and terminologies used in accounting. Please hit the like button and leave a comment and subscribe to my channel for more up and coming videos. The first principle that we are going to go through is the, it's called the double entry principle. This is the most important principle in accounting. The, the principle goes that for every transaction that is recorded, there are two entries that need to be put through the general ledger. So there's a debit entry and a credit entry. Hence, for every debit, there must always be a credit and vice versa. That's how the books are balanced. Another terminology we are going to go through is called the general ledger. So what is a general ledger? A general ledger is the master set of accounts that summarize all transactions occurring within an entity. The general ledger contains a debit and credit entry for every transaction recorded within it, the double entry principle. So you can see guys, this is a very important principle that we have to learn. From the general ledger, we can produce a trial balance, income statement, balance sheet, statement of cash flows, and many other financial reports. The next terminology that we commonly use is called revenue. Revenue is often referred to as sales. It is the income received from normal business operations and other business activities. We also get two types of income. We get operating income, which is income derived from normal business operations, such as sales of goods and all other services. Then we also get non-operating income, which is infrequent or non-recurring income, which is derived from secondary sources. For example, if it's interest collecting on cash sitting in your bank, or maybe you got an insurance claim that happened during the year. Expenses. So what are business expenses? An expense is the cost of the operations that a company incurs to generate revenue. Common expenses include payments to suppliers, employee wages, factory leases, utilities, etc. You also get two types of expenses. You get the operating expense. Operating expenses related to the company's main activities, such as cost of goods, administrative fees, and rental. Then you also get non-operating expenses. Expenses not directly related to the business core operations. Common examples include interest charges and other associated borrowing costs. Assets equals owner's equity plus liabilities. This is also another very important concept in accounting. Without this, our balance sheet will not balance and we cannot have reliable financial information. So what does this mean? So if we have all our assets, whether it's property, buildings, vehicles, stock, cash, that is equal to the owner's equity, which is basically whatever funds the owner put into the business as his personal capital, plus liabilities that that was secured through the business, either through loans, uh, through mortgages, or any other liabilities that it's sitting with the business in terms of tax, maybe some supplies still to be made. So that's how the whole formula works. So all your assets is equal to owner's equity plus liabilities. Okay, so let's break down what is an asset. An asset is a resource with economic value that an individual, a corporation, or country owns or controls with the expectation that it will provide a future benefit. Assets are reported on a company's balance sheet and are bought or created to increase a firm's value or benefit the firm's operations. And assets can be thought of something that is in future can generate cash flow, reduce expenses, or improve sales, regardless of whether it's manufacturing equipment, which is a tangible asset, which is something that you can feel, or a patent or an IP, which is an intangible asset, which you cannot actually feel, but it is giving you economic value. Okay, so there are also two types of assets. You get non-current or fixed assets, and you also get current assets. So what is a non-current or fixed asset? Those are long-term resources. That's basically where we, we can get economic benefit for many, many, many years from that asset. An example of that is plant and equipment and buildings or vehicle, etc., where you will get many years of economic 
recurring value from that asset. A current asset is a short-term economic resource where that, uh, where that resource is going to be converted to cash in less than a year's time. Those are normally cash in your bank, uh, stock, and your debtors. Okay, so let's break down what's liabilities in the equation. A liability is a present obligation of the enterprise arising from past events, the settlement of which is expected to result in an outflow from the enterprise of resources embodying economic benefits. So let's break down a bit. Let's break that down a bit. So that could be a line of credit from a supplier to pay within 30 days. So if you have a supplier, you can get the stock up front and you only need to pay him after 30 days. Or you could be taking out a business loan to start up the company. Or you could mortgage, you can take out a mortgage to purchase a factory or a shop. Liabilities is basically the source of funds used to purchase assets. There are also two types of liabilities, just like how we had with assets. They are non-current liabilities and current liabilities. So non-current liabilities are liabilities which will take more than a year to pay back. Those are usually mortgage bonds and business loans. Then you also get the current liabilities. These are liabilities which that we are going to pay within a year. Those are usually accounts payable, so our suppliers which we have 30 or 60 day accounts with, or taxes and VAT uh, commitments that we have to pay yearly or monthly, etc. Okay, so this is the last part of the equation, owner's equity. So what is owner's equity? So owner's equity is basically the net value of your business. In, term, in other words, that is your, all your assets that you have in your business, less your liabilities. So that is your owner's equity, the net value of your business. Thanks guys, thanks for watching this video and please hit the like button and comment on the bottom and please subscribe as I'm trying to grow my subscriber base. Much appreciated. Take care and keep well.